anyway, so I think RIM, uh, which we totally digress. Short answer, RIM will um, get um, get out of this media rut, I think, when the first QNX BlackBerry comes out. And look out, RIM will, RIM will reseat themselves, I think, when they have QNX BlackBerries and the QNX... The, 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 really, because like you were saying, because RIM is so similar to WebOS, at least in initial feel, I realize they're very different. They're night and day OSs, but in initial feel, they're similar. It's going to be whether or not they can convince the consumer to, you know, ignore that HP shiny. Because if you walk into a Best Buy right now, it's like front and center are like a three HP web OS things. Then there's a Samsung thing over in the corner between the Apple and the web OS stuff. And the Zooms are on display nowhere. They're in a little cupboard in the corner locked away. You have to know to ask for them. <laughs> uh, but it's like, and, and nowhere, anywhere in the store uh, is um, Phone 7. You know, it's not on display. It's not so, uh, which brings actually to the thing we could probably transition into, which is Microsoft is toying uh -huh. around with the idea of going nationwide with the Microsoft stores. Their logic is nobody's buying their stuff because nobody's selling it. Nobody's pushing Microsoft. Yeah, you know, it's sad because there are people that have been, I think we covered this in one show, that there is a guy that tweeted that he went to a store and they were saying, oh, Windows Phone 7, you don't want that. Get an Android or, or iOS device. You know, it's like, that's sad. I mean, that, that Microsoft, I guess, would, and, and hey, more power to them, they just opened up a store in Houston. Um, that I yet have yet to visit. I do plan on visiting it. It's just I live on the outskirts of Houston, and this I, city is so big that I have to go drive in over there. I I, I think they'll happen. make more sales. Whether or not that will result in generating enough interest to actually drive the product into the thing. Here's the reality. I, I remember the last time we had brand X stores everywhere. You know, Gateway, Shot, everything else. The reality is the only one who made that model stick and work because of the type of company they are, was Apple. Everybody was doing that, and everybody went bankrupt doing it. Yeah. Uh, Except, I mean, Sony's still doing it. Yeah, but Sony's doing it as a kiosk in other stores. Mm -hmm. and it's like they're not. Best Buy is wanting to do the full, basically they're wanting to do the gateway model. You know, where, where the Microsoft store, they want to clone the Apple model and hybrid it with the gateway model. And well, just, the way Apple did it is because the reason why they're successful is because they get 30% of everything, you know? Well, and it wasn't just that. Apple, you know, love or hate them, has always been this religion. You know, it, it's the Apple. Well, no, wait a minute. The Apple store was created under the old school Apple mentality. I, I, yeah, which is yeah. now the, it's like, there, I, I don't know if, I, I, I'm, micro, I'm sure they're going to do it because they, they just feel they're not in friendly pastures. But I don't... 50-50 whether or not it will result in a favorable outcome for Microsoft, really, at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know how other stores are doing. I mean, I, I'm going to actually go to the one that's over here in the gallery in Houston. i got to drive a ways to get there and deal with parking. You know, all that crap. So. Yeah. But I'll go. I'll go. So well, I have an actual Apple store closer to me than the efforts <laughs> of Houston the damn Microsoft store. You know, you know what? That, that promised me you will take a video camera when you once you do that because it's like the oh. Apple the Apple person trekking to the Microsoft store. Oh. That just seems like something that needs to be documented. <laughs> <laughs> He's committing his trek to the Microsoft store. You know, it's required of every Apple zealot. <laughs> what? What? So, 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 you know, and, and, and their own products, even though I bitch up a, a lot about what they do currently. Uh, Microsoft is my bread and they, they, they are the majority of my paycheck come out. So, um, the, the, uh, I, I will go there, but the thing with this is that Microsoft knows the right mall. They pick the right mall to, to have a store. The gallery is pretty a, a pretty big mall here, very popular. And there is an Apple store also in that mall, so that are, you know, yeah, is, is, is anybody, like, getting the... I, I've noticed where these Microsoft stores are propping up. You know, even though I'm not sure I agree it's a good idea, like, I know what you're talking about. It's almost like they're doing... You remember when McDonald's used to do this, oh, dear God, meticulous research about the McDonald's must be there, and it will be there no matter who we have to step on to get it. You almost feel like that's what Microsoft's doing with where they're putting these Microsoft stores. Like they're well, they going, have to, because they want to make money. Uh, yeah. They're in the right mall. They are, they, to be in Houston, they pick, 
period. I mean, they're, they're... Isn't that basically what Walmart did? They tried to be everywhere as well as Target. They were just, they didn't really care as much, you know? And Walmart had to be everywhere, you know? Yeah. Um, moving on to something else we should cover, even though we've covered a lot of the Google Android stuff. Um... Like, like I said, I just I like I said I just bought a Kindle, so I'm covering this with obvious bias. You bought a Kindle for I would be asked. Wait, you haven't bought your? I thought you would buy your. Sorry, I, I know. I still I still haven't gotten it. I mean, uh, I just, I'm okay. so swamped with other things. Right well, now. it's like, but, but, but remember, I'm fixing to leave town for a while, and I'm going to have sketchy internet, everything else, I, and I'm not going to have TV. I'm going to be on the road. I'm going to. I said. Fuck this! I am gonna go spend 180 bucks. I'm getting a Kindle. I'm loading my books. I have some good and bad things to say about it, but before I do an actual review, I'm gonna use it for those few weeks and actual travel conditions and everything else, so I can do a proper review on the thing. I have a few things I've noticed about it I don't like already. It's like because I started playing around with it before the trip, so I didn't get like knocked off anything. And like I'm glad I did that because otherwise I wouldn't have had a lot of books in a format I prefer. But that's another thing. Anyways, on that same note, um, Google has chosen to partner with Sony and the iRiver. They're gonna all the books that are going in the Google Bookstore are going to be made available to Sony. Uh, that Sony Reader, though, you know that I, I have uh, demoed that uh, one of those kiosks in the mall. That that seems pretty slick to little touch interface. Yeah, but it's expensive. No, it's expensive, but it's it's similar. It, uh -huh. it's, it's definitely a competing product. A and really, I think this is a mutually beneficial relationship. Because one of the big problems Google was going to have is how do they convince people to buy their books? Because I'm sorry, you know, one more bookstore, okay, I can already get Kindle books on my Android device. Why do I need to buy the Google ones? And simultaneously, Sony, with partly because of the price and other things, has been having, and a smaller library and everything else, has been having this endless problem getting their iRiver to stick. You know, it's just, it, it, the Kindle is kind of dominating this marketplace. Uh, this is either going to be two people who have the wrong idea marrying each other and, you know, never really catching on, or it's a match made in heaven that will make both stick. So do you think there might be a, uh, a Kindle app for it, too? Uh, oh, the, do I think there'll ever be a Kindle app for the Sony device? No, but there is already a Kindle app for Android and you know iOS and everything. So it's like your your Kindle stuff can all but follow you around to everything. It's like I say all. Oh, be a custom firmware or something. Yeah, yeah well, like, it, yeah, you, you, on, on some things you run into some DRM issues, uh, particularly on Linux and other things. But that's an issue with anything with DRM, and unfortunately. Sure. Um, but it, it, it will be interesting because this now makes the I, I mean, really, the three animals in this market are the Kindle, the Nook, and the iRiver. That's pretty much the three devices that there are. Uh, Amazon, by virtue of the library they have access to, the Kindle will stick. Uh, yeah, the Kindle seems to be really awesome. Yeah. Um, the Nook, even though it has some things going for it, I, it's Barnes and Noble. Barnes & Noble is not on the best ground right now. Uh, they, they, they seem shaky financial. The device has suits against it. The, it. At the end of the day, I'm not sure it can weather the storm to make itself stick, even though it's overall an okay device. Um, and the iRiver you know, now has Google behind it, so it might be that alternative. I'm hoping it sticks, if for no other reason. I don't want to see this market become dominated by one entity because then we've effectively handed the written word over to Yeah, I don't want to, yeah, I don't I, I, I yeah, I agree totally. Maybe, yeah. yeah, so I, I would like hopefully this is a, a good partnership both for terms of keeping the written word uh, a little more open and free. We'll never have the Gutenberg project fully take over, but you know, it's like I'd like there to be competition which helps keep things going. Because uh, it would be nice if textbooks have to remain ag agnonymous as opposed to just being blah blah blah. You must have device X to do your to read your school textbooks. I, I don't want that world. That's a scary world to me. Um, and and we'll see. You know, uh, I I'm gonna have to look at what's actually in Google's thing because I didn't check at it based on the shape of the ecosystem. But hopefully this makes the library available over here now competitive because Amazon has one hell of a library and they're increasing that all the time because on 
if you go to Amazon.com, every single book on there, if it's not available on the Kindle, there's a little button. Nag the publisher to make a Kindle version available. It's like, it's like, it's like tell them you want to give the money for a Kindle version. It's like there's this little nag button there. It's like, it's like, it's like yeah. Everybody who's selling the book on Amazon is probably getting a thousand plus emails a month going, "Where's the Kindle version?" It's like, it's like, and I'm sorry. There's hundreds of books sold. There's not hundreds of thousands. Ah, uh, we covered the status. Uh, we covered the PayPal thing. Part three should be sex is good for you. Oh! <laughs> well, we're already in part three, yeah. <laughs> and the what the fucking... <laughs> we stick random what the you hell... You can't write this title on your sex is good for you. That's what the article's about. <laughs> sex is good for you. I was like, what the hell is this in the show about sex is good for you? Wait, is this a joke? What is this? No, no, if you, if you read it, uh, apparently, <laughs> no, no, this is a scientific study. There's people getting paid money to do a study, albeit on worms, to determine okay. that yeah, sex. I'm like worms right now, I know. <laughs> like sex is good for you. Well, you know, what they oh, found okay. was, uh, what they found was, you know, worms that produce through mitosis as opposed to events, they have healthier immune systems and, and so forth, so literally, sex is good for the worms, and by proxy, us. Is, theoretically, self-fertilization may seem a far more efficient means of reproduction, but as the above-mentioned study illustrates, sexual cross-fertilization, thank God, <laughs> sexual cross-fertilization. Yes. <laughs> Science <laughs> proving that sex is good. <laughs> Christ Almighty. Christ. No. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm so. Can you imagine, like, when we. I, I mean, there was a movie that. I remember, what was this? It was like a Twilight Zone or something. Where it was like women became like the dominant thing because men are just pieces of shit and pigs. And it was all about, like, setting. Like, you, you know. Having finding means of reproducing on their own, right? And, and this this whole self, yeah, you can, I just get to see, yeah, I'm self fertile. You know, it's like whatever. Right? <laughs> hey, that, that sounds like such a pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like you know, all things aside, aside from the fact that it's good for us, it's also fun. You know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, just so funny. I, I just like self fertilize. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy shit, man. I don't like this. <laughs> hey, 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 we haven't done a show in two weeks. We had to have fun this show, damn it. It's like, it's like I found out I'm going to die. We know sex is you good for us. Right under, you put this right under the, the whole uh, smartphone, using smartphones as, as our primary means to connect to the internet. I was just like, well, okay. yeah, we were going to be going through it. Sex is good for you. I was like, hello, what is this? That's the <laughs> other thing we should cover in conjunction to the um, what the F. Uh, data caps and so forth, studies are starting to show that about a third of people in America are making their mobile internet connection their primary internet connection. Like they have the smartphone that supports tethering, so they're giving up, you know, to get rid of a bill. You know, everybody in the family has a smartphone with tethering, so they're giving up the home internet connection and using that as their primary internet connection. Wow, they must not be doing much, man, because... Man, no, no, I, I guarantee you most of them are on grandfathered-in plans, uh, but I guarantee you within the next 12 to 18 months, the carriers are going to figure out how to get rid of those. You know, like, oh, you, you've bought a 4G phone, so that requires you to buy a 4G metered data. Oh, yeah. you, can't, you can't keep your 3G unmetered plan that doesn't fuck you every month, and then they're going to get the $1,000 bill from hell, and little little Jimmy isn't going to have internet for six months while mommy and daddy pay off the $1,000 bill from hell to Verizon or AT&T. <laughs> It's just, it's like, and, and you know, really, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to do that, uh, aside from these ridiculous caps. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how it's going over the backbone, or it shouldn't. Yeah, like, name us lovers that I take them away. That's fun. Well, and that's the idea behind these smartphones. They're your link device. You know, it's like I now have my link. I carry my link with me. I'm par I'm on the net. I'm here all the time. 
You know, that's the idea. Unfortunately, right. that's being shot down and crucified. You know, that's... Uh, anything else in this? Since I don't even, I don't even know what we haven't covered yet. We've skipped all over the place. <laughs> so no, we did. We did the, we did the uh, Zuckerberg thing. We did the Google Plus thing. Let's see, we did uh, Verizon. I mean, the, the CACs are kind of a known thing. Yeah. Uh, we did Microsoft. Right. We did Google. I think we I think Apple, which I think we're saving for we're iWorld. We're saving so. Apple for iWorld. You said that. I think oh, the only right. one we haven't covered is that. Uh, Justin Timberlake wants to make MySpace American Idol. Uh, huh? Yeah, the, Justin Timberlake is one of the people who's basically now owns part of MySpace. Is that even is that a profitable uh, enterprise still? Well, no, this is their plan to put it back on the map. They basically well, want. Did you hear the from Justin said Tom this time? <laughs> yeah, basically they want to turn it into like a talent search site. Because originally, yeah, it was, yeah, as MySpace has become more of a music-based website. Yeah, a lot of a lot of bands website. use it, like like startup garage bands and so yeah. forth. And, like, they're using that as their social thing to get them out there. Uh, and and so, I, you know, I think that's far better than damn than freaking getting on Facebook and getting a magical egg. Holy crap! <laughs> No, no, and I, and I agree with that. And honestly, if they market this properly, it that might actually make MySpace profitable. It's just one of those things I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, so MySpace is going from being an unpopular, all but dead social media site to the new American Idol, where anybody can become the next pop sensation rock band. Hmm. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> Yeah, it's like yeah, democracy is a lot better. <laughs> well, no, like in the reality is that's that's like the hardest thing in the music industry getting found. You know, rather yeah, you want to go. Good, like all the good music is like pre ninety five. You know. Well, no, it's, it's not like, just that. MTV to start playing the real world. Okay, that's what music was good. Okay. Well, mainstream music, but there's a lot of good independent artists, you know? Hey, 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 I like some of the stuff that comes from today, too. I'm not a complete old fuddy-duddy yet, but it's like the reality is um, there's a lot of good Creative Commons music. Great. But the reality is most people don't have a clue about it. You know, they don't realize that there are artists that are, you know, just doing their own thing completely independent, actually put out. Like, the hardest thing is the artists getting their music to the consumer that is actually interested in them. And if they can turn MySpace into something that solves that, rather they want to go with the big record industry or rather they want to stay a small independent band that just deals directly with their fans, you know, kudos to it if they can, if they can pull that off. Because that would be a great thing. I would love to live in a world... Oh, this is one of the reasons I like some of the bands I like, because they, you know, they, they basically... They, they are that, you know, they managed to start as this little rinky-dink garage and just hit everything just right. That almost never happens today. It would be nice if I can find, if I could use the internet to find that little garage band that has that sound I like in the same ease I can find the new band Record Label X is trying to push over the radio waves and everything else. It'd be nice if, if that was equalized where I can find them equally well. That would be great. Okay, anything else we want to go into, or do we want to wrap up on there? For those of you who hate our politics, you know, just, you know, shoot your hate mail. We'll, we'll make sure to read it. Assuming I don't die right. from not forwarding this channel. Okay, what about the, um, <laughs> questions and answers, you know? Maybe we should do Q&A's, you know, maybe we should ask for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's, um, well, we don't have any Q&A's, but it's like, uh, it's like, it's, we, we welcome Q&A's, you know, if y'all want to send more questions and stuff. Uh, we welcome to him. We we actually. Oh have man, that, that that you know the guy um sent me a message. He, I think he gave me. He wants to go by PayPal. I forgot to tell you about that. That's my fault. Damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, if if he's gonna go by PayPal, it's it's easier for you just to send it to him directly rather than you send it to my PayPal and me send it to his. Like okay. asking uh, what his PayPal is. Right. But, but yeah, because like I forgot about that. Yeah, we still haven't paid that guy. We need to pay him. <laughs> I know, I've been paid. Uh, we, we, I, 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 I was like, oh, he responded, and I totally forgot about it. So if he's still watching, we're going to get to him. Well, I, I, actually, if you want to get into Q&A, we do have a Q&A here, uh, but this is more uh, Mac-based, so it'd probably be better to do an iWorld. Um, 
So yeah, we'll we'll do that one there. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's like you know what? Actually, I would like more questions coming in here if y'all feel comfortable. Uh, Trialing Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and Tweedledum Dumb Acid. <laughs> answer your questions. Okay, anything else we want to go into, or do we want to round off there? No, that's it. Okay, then. Let's hopefully we get this iWorld done. Um, yeah, we'll get iWorld done tomorrow, and then we'll sunk. And I don't know if we're going to get shows done next week or not, because next week is nuts for me. Okay. Yeah, it's like, okay, uh, peace out. I'll hopefully see you next week, if not, see you in a month. <laughs>